episode 10 of love is blind the final episode of the season finally dropped and i've got some words i still have some words for izzy let's get into it first of all thank you so much for all the love on the previous video i really appreciate it and today the toxicity continues because it never stops toxic men never stop and izzy keeps showing us like you're a toxic man so when this episode started out i kind of felt bad for him i was like mm, is he you know what maybe we were a bit harsh on you and then he showed himself and he was like this is me toxicity is me and then i remembered that if you give a toxic man a chance he will show you he will give you a reason to be embarrassed he will remind you why you shouldn't have given him a chance and is it show Stacy? He really did. I feel like Stacy doesn't know what she wants. And this really came out to me in the beginning of the season. Now, we all know that the editing in Love is Blind is quite hectic, quite crazy. So sometimes a story is portrayed a certain way, but it's actually not how it played out. But to me, Stacy really seemed playful. And, you know, I'm just here for a good time. And... It did make sense to me why she would have picked someone like Izzy because Izzy seemed fun as well. Towards the end of the season, we realized that, oh, yes, she does want a good time. She does want to have fun, but she's also looking for a partner who's financially stable, who's got his own money and can compliment her. Now, why I say I don't think she knew what she wanted is that this is a conversation she should have had in the parts and not outside of the parts, the financial conversation, because Izzy had that conversation with Johnny. If you guys remember, when Johnny broke up with Izzy, when she walked back into the room that she shares with the ladies, she mentioned that, oh, Izzy also has like a brat credit score. So Johnny kind of had an understanding of Izzy's financial status. I'm thinking, why didn't Stacy ask those questions while in the pods? It really did make me think that Stacy maybe didn't know what she wanted, but this whole experience did show her eventually at the end that what type of man she actually wants or needs in her life. Now, let's get into Izzy and all of the shenanigans he pulled, because a toxic man will never fail to embarrass you. Never. Number one. I even made notes. I need to read these notes for you guys. Firstly, he said, you fall in love when you least expect it. How do you fall in love when you least expect it when you're on love is blind looking for love? How is this you least expecting to fall in love? Izzy, why are you so dishonest? You were looking for love. You were not least expecting it. You were highly expecting it, sir. And it shows. It really, really shows because you call yourself a man of integrity yet you hid your financial status to this woman where is the integrity in that where is it you really lack self-awareness this show really brought it out in you it really showed how much work you still need to do on yourself and you're still so young you're 29 like what are you doing with an older woman who's so established who's got her career going for her she's got her own money why are you so upset at the end when she says right now where you are in your life you're not an equal to me why are you so upset because this is my thing and this really frustrated me that when you call out someone or men on the bullshit, they will say, okay, yeah, but why didn't you tell me before we got married? Why didn't you tell me before we tied the knot? Stacy did. And you're still upset. When was she supposed to tell you then? Like when? After you guys got married. And the jabs you pulled afterwards. And I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm, sir. This is not a good look. This is not a good look. Do you know what you remind me of? you know what you remind me of you remind me of people who ask women what do you bring to the table what do you bring to the table that time all you bring to the table is this that's all you bring literally all you bring point two love has no credit score no price tag so are you out of your mind are you out of your mind love definitely has a price tag love definitely has a credit score because when you get married to someone 
I don't know how the laws work in America, but in South Africa, there's two ways you can get married. You can marry someone out of community of property or within community of property. Within community of property is that if I got bad credit, you got bad credit too. If I got some debt, you got some debt too because we are married in community of property. And if we're married out of community of property, it's like a prenup then. Then our assets are separated. So yes, finance, definitely is important in a relationship it really really matters and the fact that izzy didn't think it matters shows us once again what his motives really were in this relationship because you can't say something doesn't matter when for you it matters you're not doing good in that department like you are not doing good it's one thing to say money doesn't matter and you've got money in the bank but if you don't have money in the bank it does matter because you need it and then he's like, him and Stacy have good communication. What good communication do you have, gaslighter? Because you did not tell her you've got bad credit. When she asked you, she asked you about your credit cards and you didn't mention it. And then when she called you out on it, you're like, oh, it didn't feel like the right time to talk about it. I wanted to wait for the appropriate moment and I felt like that wasn't the appropriate moment. Sir, that was the appropriate moment it is always an appropriate moment to talk about money ladies it's very very important you talk about money when you get into a relationship with any man i feel like money is the quickest way to see someone's intentions in a relationship it's so quick as soon as you bring up the conversation about money i feel like it exposes people's intentions when it comes to a relationship it exposes whether they want to control you whether they want to leech whether they want to use you whether they want to add to your life talking about money is very important in a relationship and if someone tells you it's not let me see your bank statement let me see it and he keeps going on and on about money in this episode that's why i'm also going on and on about money like literally the whole episode izzy just talks about money <laughs> and this is the episode where he's getting married he goes on to say that he's not about the money but then i really sat and i thought about it i was like izzy that is a fat out lie and it shows again how he how he lacks self-awareness if this is the case like if he is not aware of these things because all of the women that he went for are established in their careers or have good careers one is a geologist one is a lawyer with stacy i'm not sure but i think she runs her pilates studio but she's a managing director so you can see all of these women have great careers going for them if you were not so concerned about the money why did you go for women who seemingly have money thriving careers going for them yet you are in sales and it's not like you've got an established career in sales like your career is literally just starting off and also it's very ironic for him to go into sales because jehovah's witnesses are actually good at sales we are very good at sales we've had training our whole lives when we are born into this religion we are trained to do sales because we are trained to recruit people into the religion so sales comes to us very very easily i hate it though like don't ask me to sell anything to anyone oh my gosh i will puke because <laughs> i hate it house to house i hated having to talk to strangers about god like what is it that i have to ask people about god and question them especially as a child like it's none of my business no i do not want to know why you are a christian a catholic um, why you practice whatever i don't want to know i don't care it's under my business and yeah it just didn't make sense to me like money doesn't matter but here you are on love is blind looking for love looking for marriage marriage is money marriage is literally a contract you get into with someone else money definitely matters sir i don't even know what's going on here but you are you're a gaslighter is he i also wrote down here that izzy is not a provider izzy is a leech izzy is a leech he's one of those guys that mm -mm, you just want to be a house husband you do not want to yeah i wouldn't be surprised if they had gotten married and then izzy all of a sudden has no job like he's not working none of that i wouldn't have been surprised if he did that because he didn't give me providing energy and you know how you can tell this you can tell this by how 
he made so many claims while they were still in the pods and when they started you know dating when in mexico they've been in, they've been engaged now for a minute but they still you know in their honeymoon phase he made all these promises i'm gonna cook for you i'm gonna buy you flowers did he come through on that no he didn't he did not and that's what showed me you're not a provider you're a leech you lie do i think is he's a bad person i actually don't know i want to say he's not because at the end of it i could i could really tell that izzy is not in a good mental space and i think he thought that a wedding could possibly save him from the things he's trying to you know run away from or deal with but marriage will not do that marriage and relationships will expose the things that you're always trying to run away from so before you get into a relationship before you get into marriage it's important that you first deal with your childhood traumas your fears your insecurities before you impart them to someone else when in a relationship because that was the path that they were on izzy is very insecure about money oh my goodness this man this man, every time I looked at him, I was like, tell me you're poor without seeing you're poor. Because he kept talking about money the whole episode. And all he talks about in combating his financial issues is I'm a calm man. I will calm you down, Stacey. I will bring the calm into this relationship. Sir, we cannot eat your calmness. We cannot. Can you just stop with your calm energy? You are not calm. We know you're not calm. And then Stacy's mom <laughs> went on to say something. And I was like, Stacy's mom is so bad. It's so wrong for this, but so right. She said, Stacy wants something and Izzy wants it really bad. And that is the truth. Izzy wants this marriage really, really bad because he's trying to use this marriage to get out of his financial problems he reminds me of this lady from season one of love is blind who got married with so much debt and this is the thing that doesn't make sense to me is that if you've got debt you are not ready for marriage point blank period you are not ready for marriage and there's nothing wrong again with being in a place in your life when you're not ready for something when you're not ready for something it just means you need to grow more you need to work more on yourself a dream delayed is not a dream denied, Izzy. There's nothing wrong with waiting for marriage until you're ready. In the African household, you are not supposed to get married if you're broke. If you're broke, you don't get married. Because African marriage is expensive. So when you say there's no price tag to love, I'm like, what do you mean? Who's going to pay for the wedding? Who's actually going to pay for the wedding? Marriage is love. Love is money. Love is money. And you need those chankuras. We need to pay for the dress. We need to pay for the venue. You need to pay for dates. You need to take me out. You were not ready to date. Izzy should have stayed at home and worked on himself, built his sales career, got his own home, his own house, and fixed his credit score. Sir, you need to go fix your credit score. And then the JW things started to come out. Like I started to see the JW traits that he has carried on from his past into this relationship. Number one, the love bombing. Mm. So for those who've never been into a Jehovah's Witness congregation or just stepped foot, if they don't know you in that congregation and you visit them, best believe you're going to feel the love that day. Oh my goodness, everyone is going to come up to you, greet you, want to find out where you're from, tell you to come back, tell you, oh my gosh, you look so beautiful, thank you so much for coming, oh wow, where are you from? Oh, just around the corner, we'll come and visit you, like they will laugh and bomb you. And if you are in a very bad mental state, oh my goodness, then they've got you. They've really, really got you. I'm going to talk more about how they rope people into the organization. But Izzy basically uses those tactics. He love bombs you. He makes all these promises. He's so sweet. He does all of these things. And then when he has to continue following through on those things, he stops. He will still do the bare minimum and expect maximum effort out of his partner. And I was like, mm -mm. you are too foul. You're too foul for that. Ah, and then I feel like Izzy's mom 
did expose that Izzy is a bit immature because she did say that she's just taken aback with how grown Izzy looked on his wedding day. And I want to talk about that suit, but I'll get to that suit. But for her to say that, I realized that, yeah, Izzy is quite immature. Maybe there isn't much of a difference between him and Milton. <laughs> There's some growing that needs to be done. But it just shows you that marriage is a big, big decision. And a lot needs to be considered before getting into that union. And another thing that needs to be considered is your wedding outfit. How is the priest or the wedding officiator looking better than you on your wedding day what is this horrendous suit you know when i saw this suit it triggered me it really triggered me because it reminded me of the jw days now i don't know about anywhere else in the world but in south africa this blue suit this blue suit had men like this had men in a massive chokehold because every guy rocked this suit on conventions on the last day where everyone is wearing their Sunday best, men wore this blue suit. It's this suit, a brown belt, brown shoes. Mm. When a man had that, he felt like he held us by the p because every girl was like, you look so good. You look so good. It was so bad, the Jehovah's Witnesses had to make a rule, like literally a rule change that men cannot wear slim foot suits anymore literally i kid you not men in the jehovah's business community are not allowed to wear slim suit suits do you know why do you know why it makes them look gay that's what they said it makes you look gay i was shocked i was like what when how how <laughs> but this suit was so awful like oh my goodness it, it was not working it did not scream i'm getting married is he again good looking for nothing for nothing come on so at the end stacy did not choose to get married to izzy and it was quite sad honestly it was sad but it was expected you two are just a mess it was just messy but the sad part was just izzy's mom's reaction she sat him down and spoke to him about how it's important to go through pain to protect ourselves and i was like wow this is such a beautiful analogy she explained how he had to get shots and they were painful but the mother knew that he needs to get these shots to protect his life and it was such a beautiful analogy that sometimes in life we go through hardships things where we just think to ourselves oh my goodness this is horribly painful but this pain will help us protect ourselves in the future we will make better decisions because of this pain but the thing that really touched me even more is her saying that she's been going through a lot in her life and even when she was pregnant with izzy she went through a lot and the same thing actually happened to my mom where when she was pregnant with me she was going through a lot of mental health issues she was depressed and in her depression that's how the jehovah's witnesses roped her into the religion because the religion preys on people who are going through challenging times in their lives like the jehovah's witnesses literally have talking points that they use for going house to house to preach to people where you, you where you will ask the household or the person you're talking to about what is currently happening in their life are they experiencing any hardships and who isn't going through some form of hardship in their life so they use those talking points to lure people into the organization but yeah that was love is blind episode 10 mm -mm, that was not it that was not it and then there's so many rumors out there about you and other women. Already there's like videos and images of you out there with other women. And I'm just like, you claim to be mature, ready for marriage. And this is your behavior when things don't go your way. And if you really love Stacey so much, is this not the time then to maybe win her back? Because she did say, I don't know if it was just her trying to soften the blow, but she did say that she just felt like you guys needed more time. 
I feel like if someone tells you that and you are serious about them, you will use that time to show them your love, show them that you really want to be with them. But I think you wanted fame. You wanted that fame to possibly help you get out of a financial situation. And maybe it can. Maybe it can after this. I think it all will depend on how you use this newfound attention but there's a lot of inner work that you need to do a lot of things that you need to unlearn about the jehovah's witness experience the upbringing that you have yeah it's a toxic organization and it brings out the worst in everyone don't forget that the jehovah's witness organization makes you feel like you're better than people it makes you feel like oh my gosh these people don't know the real god we do it really feeds into your ego they really push for this level of elitism or being elite and the rest of the world being peasants so there's a lot of things i feel like izzy needs to unlearn and in unlearning those things i still feel like he could really make a great partner in future a great father in future i don't know I'm just trying to end this video on a good note, but when can you trust a man? Please tell me when. When can you trust a man? So let's just end it where it needs to end. Here. Thank you so much for watching.